From the archives of the United States Cavalry, the true stories of Colonel Randall McKenzie and the cavalrymen he led, McKenzie's Raiders. His secret orders from the President of the United States, clean up the Southwest, make it a fit place for Americans to live, wipe out the renegades, outlaws, and murderers. If necessary, cross the Rio Grande, knowing capture means hanging by the enemy. Discovery, court-martial by the United States Army. The afternoon of June 8, 1876, on Mexican territory. Another raid by Skitashi, another risk by Mackenzie. Mackenzie, as numerous times before, had violated the border, fully aware of the consequences if he were caught. But Skitashi had killed and plundered. He and his small band had to be stopped. Mackenzie had no choice but to rely on his secret orders. Clean up the area even if you have to cross the Rio Grande to do it. If the United States government catches you, it'll be a court-martial. If it's the Mexicans, it'll be a hanging. We're ready, Colonel. Both flanks are secure. They're cut off from their horses. Where's Conover? He's posted on the next rise, sir. Good. And they're completely pinned down. Get back to your position. Yes, sir. Skitashi! Skitashi, this is Mackenzie. I have many rifles staring at you. Tell your warriors to throw down their weapons and walk north. That way there'll be no killing. You don't have much time, Skatashi. I'm waiting for your answer. Soldiers, a whole troop of them. How much time have I got? No time, Colonel. They'll be on us real soon. You want me to stay? Yeah, Charlie. Keep an eye on Skatashi for me. I'll get the troops back across the river. James A. Beasley, Inspector General's office. Oh, yes, of course, sir. I was expecting you. Sorry I couldn't meet you on your arrival. Something, uh, something urgent came up. Lieutenant, were you ordered into Mexico? Well, Colonel, you see... Of course he was ordered into Mexico. By me. I'm in command here. Colonel McKenzie, I'm placing you in arrest. You'll accompany me back to the fort. Hard to figure what a difference that miserable little river makes. Ready, Colonel? Ready, Colonel. You want an order, 
posted, sir? No, it's sufficient that the colonel knows he's confined to the post. Yes, sir. I want full reports from all the men who went to Mexico. That includes you, Lieutenant. Have them made out as soon as possible. They'll go along with my report to Washington. Won't that mean a court-martial, sir? That's not for me to decide. The colonel's office? Yes, sir. His quarters? In there, sir. Those reports are your first order of business, Lieutenant. The secret orders, by their very nature, prevented Mackenzie from using them as a defense. He could not tell Beasley or anyone else, not even the court-martial officers. In the words of the Secretary of War, if you're caught, you're on your own. Come in. Oh, Colonel, please come in. It'll take a while to hear from Washington. I've assumed your command. You mean you're going to report the incident? Yes, I am. You think I can let pass the shocking disregard of a friendly nation's sovereignty that I witnessed this morning? Well, it's just that in the field, it's, it's not always easy to do these things true blue. Maybe so. But I find it incredible that anyone could be so stupid as to risk the security of the United States. Don't you realize this is the only sensitive border we possess? That violating it could bring irreparable damage to our relations with Mexico? Skatashi is responsible for 19 killings in this territory. Then he skips back across the Rio Grande and thinks he's home free. How else would you propose dealing with him? As a veteran officer, you should know that no Indian settler or anyone else in the world is worth the grave steps you've taken. I presume you've read your general orders. I've read them. Well, you seem to have dismissed them from your mind as if they don't apply to you, Colonel. Of course, I'll include any statement you wish to make in my report. The only statement I'd wish to make is that Skatashi must be stopped. I agree. But I have no sympathy for your actions. As an inspector, I've seen officers, even generals, disobey their orders before, but never I encountered such flagrant violation and by one of the model army officers. You know, sir, you have quite a reputation as an administrative officer. And I respect that reputation. But I do wish you could see this thing a little differently. I don't understand. What other way is there to see it? Colonel, don't think for a moment I like what I have to do. I remember you well. As far back as the academy, I was two years behind you. Like all other underclassmen, you were the one we looked up to. You were the leading cadet. I've been an outstanding officer ever since. Your career has been brilliant. I'm genuinely sorry that I'll have a hand in the scandal that's bound to result. Yes. Yes, Colonel, a general court-martial is never a pretty thing to see. But of course, you have your duty to do. That is, unless you could reconsider the circumstances. Good day, Colonel. What are you gonna do if Skatashi strikes again? I'll try to stop him within the limits of the law. Colonel Beasley now faced the problems of Frontier Command. The overburdened 4th Cavalry was stretched thin to patrol 1,500 desolate miles. Finally, Scout Conover returned from Mexico with word of Skitashi. Charlie? Uh, uh, hey, is the Colonel in? Which one? Well, Mackenzie. Who else? Colonel James J. Beasley. Inspector General's office. He's in command now. In command? Do you mean that the ship Mackenzie... Uh... He's in his quarters. He's confined to the post, under arrest. Under arrest? Oh, you're joshing me, ain't you, Lieutenant? Colonel Beasley caught us crossing the river. Oh, that is trouble, ain't it? The worst kind. Probably means a court-martial. You mean that's what this fellow Beasley is going to recommend? Well, he doesn't have to. Washington won't have any alternative. Well, what does Mackenzie say about all this? Nothing. There's not much you can say. It'll wreck him. Oh, he's been in worse trouble than that. 
No, he hasn't. The Army's not just his career, it's his life. They might as well kill him as hand him a court-martial. Ain't there nothing you can do about this? Well, I can stall the reports. That's about all. Colonel Beasley doesn't bend easy. Hmm. Say, uh, is he in the Colonel's office right now? Yes? I'm your chief scout. Oh, you're Conover. Hmm. Well, I didn't realize we had to have our scouts living undercover in Brackettville. Well, how else are you going to bring things to light? Well, that's true. Now then, about Skatashi. Now, I... just a minute, Colonel, before we start talking about Skatashi. How about Mackenzie? I don't think that concerns you, Conover. Well, maybe not, but I just happened that I'm going to make it so. Now, what's all this I hear about a court-martial? I don't know what you've heard. Colonel Mackenzie is under arrest for violating an international boundary. International boundary? Well, you mean that little bit of a river down there that I can spit across? Why, shucks, Colonel, everybody used that river. I don't see why Mackenzie shouldn't. Conover, it's useless for us to discuss this. Why, it's useless for us to try and whip them bandits if we can't use that river. We're going to do the best we can. Well, the best ain't good enough in this case. Why, Colonel, when they find out that we ain't going to use that river, there's going to be the biggest commotion that you've ever seen in your life. The United States Army is equipped to administer law and order. I admit to that, but most of the time, the law and order is done on the other side of the river. Well, according to these reports, things are not half as bad as you make out. Yeah, well, they used to be. Of course, McKenzie, he's cleaned up this territory, this area here, an awful lot. But he didn't do it by just standing and looking at that river. You mean this is not the first time he's crossed the Rio Grande? Why, Colonel, how do you suppose we catch them murders? Well, that makes it even worse. Worse? Well, I didn't come here to make it no worse. I just come here to speak my piece, that's all. Well, you've certainly done that, Conover. I'll expect this information included in your report. Report? Oh, shucks, I ain't gonna make out no report. You're a United States scout assigned to Fort Clark. You're under my command. No, I can, Colonel. Since you're my new boss, you'll want to know that in my opinion, Skatashi will begin this afternoon. Why this afternoon? Well, a lot of the men will be in the town at that time. And them's the kind of odds that Skatashi likes. How do you know he's preparing for an attack? Well, I don't for sure. But it's a sense that he ain't going to pack up in the middle of the night and go down to that river just for a change of scenery. How do you know about his movements? Now, Colonel, you ought to be able to figure that out for yourself. I'll need more concrete evidence than that. Well, sometimes, Colonel, that's about all the news that a scout can get. Suit yourself, Colonel. Hello, Colonel. Hello, Lieutenant. Is he in? Yes, sir. Thanks. Come in. Sir, I just saw Charlie Conover in the stable area. So? If he says Katashi's going to attack, he's going to attack. He said in his opinion, Colonel. Conover's opinion is only the most valuable opinion in this territory. Please, sir, let me take a troop after him. That's impossible. You're confined to the post. Oh, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Listen to Conover. Follow up his report with, with as many troops as you can muster. All right, Colonel, I will. I've never lost respect for your experience in the field. Thank you, sir. and a critical moment in history. Settlers to be protected, roads to be patrolled, a border to be guarded. Many more problems than the 4th Cavalry could hope to cope with. And in command, Colonel James J. Beasley, a desk officer. Colonel Beasley, by his arrest of Mackenzie, had forced himself into a command position. Mackenzie's only hope for the continuance of his army career now rested with Colonel Beasley. And of course, from their position on the river, I figure they're headed toward the settlement, see? 
Lieutenant, I'd like to have a word with the troop before we move out. They're here, sir. You must have misunderstood me, Lieutenant. This is not nearly enough men. I understand that, sir. These are the only men available. Lieutenant, there are over 200 men assigned to Fort Clark. I can read you the duty roster, sir. Whatever the other men are doing, relieve them and have them join us. The only men on the post are the cooks and the guards. Everyone else is out on detail. You mean out of 200 men, this is all we can assemble? It's 1,500 miles we're responsible for, sir. There's not a man wasted, and we're still short. Well, we better get started. Colonel Beasley took Conover's advice and rode out to the settlement in hopes of surprising the renegade Skitashi. dead. Can we cut them off at the river? Well, they've got a good start, but we can try. Leave a trooper with the mother. Come on, let's go. He wants to know if you're coming after him. for me, sir? Colonel, the settler's child is dead. Yes, I know, sir. Conover told me. What did she know about it, Colonel? What did she know about reservations and rules and rivers? All she knew was this doll. I could never stomach death. I guess that's why I'm an administrator. <laughs> Only four troopers. Well, I guess that's the way it is all over the West, sir. I imagine so. It's hard to believe. Hard to believe such a situation exists. You know, my daughter has a doll like this. Was the... Little girl, the only one killed today, sir? Yes, the only one. But that's the same as a thousand, isn't it? I suppose it is, sir, if you look at it that way. He just stood there across the river, staring, waiting. I'm sure the men didn't understand why I didn't go after him. They understood, sir. I doubt if they liked it, but they understood. I didn't like turning back either. But what are you supposed to do? An officer lives by hard and fast rules. Sometimes, sir, an officer finds that those rules don't always apply. But they have to. Yes, sir. Meantime, 
Skatashi is still free. You'll have more men soon. Well, where will he get them? From the reservation. They'll hear about his success. They'll grow confident. They'll come and join him. So the longer the situation persists, the more disastrous it becomes. Exactly. Today, he's a renegade. Tomorrow, he may overrun the whole territory. Colonel, what would you do if I gave you back your command? I'd find Skatashi's position and I'd wipe him out. Wherever the position may be? Wherever the position may be. All right, Colonel. The command is yours. No, about four miles down the road by the crossing. How many men? Oh, he's still got the same handful. I don't know how long they'll be there, Chuck. He moves around an awful lot. Yeah, that's Katashi. We caught him sitting still once. He's not going to let it happen again. Lieutenant Paxson. Yes, sir. Assemble a troop, full fighting gear. They've been standing by since Charlie rode in, sir. Good. A uh, Colonel, I'd like to go with you. Well, we need all the help we can get. Happy to have you with us, sir. What's that? The Colonel's report, sir. When does the courier leave? Not until Saturday, sir. There will be plenty of time to take care of this when we get back. Yes, sir. You ready, Colonel? Ready, Colonel. Well, as near as I can figure, they've been going for, oh, about an hour, traveling along the river. What about Federales? Well, I think we're all right there. We've been two hours on Mexican soil. Well, there's not much risk as long as we stick this close to the river. Won't well, Skatashi move south if he finds out we're after him? Let's hope he doesn't. I never did like the idea of a Mexican rope around my neck. She's dead, sir. The rest have surrendered. I got some good advice for IG officers. Stay behind the desk. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. That's our job. My job. Those reports, Colonel. I'll send them on to Washington. No, you won't. Tear them up, Colonel. Yes, Lieutenant. I hate to bother you, sir. How do I list Colonel Beasley's death in the casualty report? Just as we list all other deaths on Mexican soil. Killed in action. Period. Yes, sir. Mackenzie's Raiders rode again and again, carrying out the secret orders of the President of the United States. 
Do whatever necessary to clean up the Southwest. Make it a decent place for people to live. Ride with Mackenzie's Raiders as they relive the blazing pages of history in the making.